Hello all, welcome back to Public Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to send automated emails on Webflow form submission. So are you also using Webflow for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So where here I'm doing the same. I'm running a edutech company and we collect the potential students' data with the help of this form only. And now I want that as soon as a new form is submitted in my Webflow account, automatically with the help of the same details, an automated email should be sent to my lead. So to do this, we are going to create a connection between Webflow and Gmail to create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language. We are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Now let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to understand how to send automated emails on Webflow form submission. So as you know that I manage a marketing team for EduTech company and we collect leads daily through our webflow form so now to streamline our lead management and to ensure that each lead is promptly acknowledged what i want is that as soon as a new lead is received through webflow which means as soon as a new form submission is made in my webflow automatically with the help of the same details and confirmation email should be sent so to do this we are going to create this automation so this automation helps me send personalized confirmation emails to all the leads thanking them for their interest and letting them know that our team will follow up soon. This setup ensures that all the leads received immediate acknowledgement, improving engagement and optimizing our lead nurturing process. So to do all of this, I've simply opened the landing page of Pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the other one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month but i'm an existing user so i'm going to click on sign in right over here and as soon as we are going to click on sign in it is opening all pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by pabli but in today's video we are going to use pabli connect because we are connecting different applications so i'm going to click on access now right over here to access my pabli connects account and now it is opening my dashboard and to start with the automation we are going to click on this button which says create workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and I want to name my workflow as how to send automated emails on webflow form submission. And then we are going to click on create and as soon as we are going to click on create you can see that now it is opening the most important window of our automation so this is the most important window because we have triggered an action on this trigger means when this happens an action means do this so by this you can understand that the triggers the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers so over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger so by this you can understand understand that the trigger commands the workflow and the actions are response towards that same command. So now we are going to select our trigger application to start with our automation. So for the trigger application, we are going to select it as Webflow. So I'm going to search for Webflow and as you can see Webflow V1, so we are going to select it. And now for the trigger event, we are going to select it as new form submission. And as soon as we are going to select this, it is giving me a webhook URL. So we are going to use this same webhook URL in order to create a connection between our webflow account and our Pabli's workflow. So first I'm going to copy this webhook URL and then we are going to open our webflow account. So as you can see that this is my webflow account and I've already logged in it. So it is really advised to log in your application before starting with the automation and now you can see that there are the two forms which I've created so I'm going to create this automation for this form which is edutech so that's why we are going to connect this with our workflow so to do this we are going to go on this three dots and then settings and as soon as we're going to open settings from the left sidebar we have to go on apps and integrations and now we are going to scroll and look for webhooks and as you can see the webhooks that I've already added but I'm going to add a new for that I'm going to click on add webhook right over here and now it is asking me for the trigger type so you have to select the trigger type as form submission because this is the trigger event and now it is saying api version so i'm going to keep it as api v1 and now it is asking me for the webhook url so we are going to paste the url we copied from our workflow and then we are going to click on add webhook and as soon as we are going to click on add webhook you can see that yes we have successfully added a new webhook right over here in our webflow account and now after adding this webhook we are going to click on save right over here and then publish and then we are going to click on publish 
published to selected domain so we are going to publish this so that all our process is saved and our form is published and now after publishing this we are going to go back again to all sites over here we are going to open this form and do the test submission so i'm going to open this form and now from here again we are going to go on publish and over here you can see the form link so i'm going to open this form link and as soon as we are going to open the form link we are going to go on forms and as you can see that this is my form so we are going to do the test submission so for the first name i'm going to keep it as demo last name as user email as demo at the rate publityoots.com and for the phone number i want the phone number to be this and after entering all the details we are going to click on submit and as soon as we are going to click on submit you can see thank you your submission has been received so yes this means that we have successfully did the test submission and webflow has sent the details of our submission to our workflow so i'm going to open my workflow and check that if pabli has captured the response of our submission or not and yes you can see that response a pabli has captured the response of our submission over here you can see all the details that we entered you can see the mobile number that we entered you can see the last name first name email and you can see all the details that we entered so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step which is webflow and now we are going to move on to our action step so for our action application we are going to select it as gmail so i'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it and now for the action event we are going to select it as send email v2 and then again we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to click on connect you can see add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your gmail account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then connect with gmail and now after selecting my gmail account it is asking me for some permission so i'm going to click on allow and give pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with pabli you can also click on allow pabli save and as soon as we are going to click on allow you can see connected right over here so yes we have successfully connected our gmail account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the recipient email addresses so we are going to map this so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected webflow as our trigger application so we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received in our webflow trigger step so i'm going to give you an example that right over here in front of the recipient email address suppose i'm going to enter the email demo at the rate pablitudes.com right over here manually by typing it so suppose i'm going to enter it like this manually then this will not change with every new response received because this is a static information and i've entered it manually but if i'm going to map it from the previous response over here you can see the email so if i'm going to map it from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time and now it is asking me for the cc and bcc so as you can see both of these fields are not the required so i'm going to leave it as blank and then we are going to move on forward and as you can see that now it is asking me for the sender's email address so i'm going to select it as same only and then we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the sender's name so i want the sender's name to be edutech and then we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the email subject so i want the email subject to be thank you for your interest and then we are going to map the name of our lead right over here so i'm going to look for it as you can see the name first name we are going to map it put a space and the last name so i've mapped the name of my lead and the subject because i want to send personalized email to all my leads and now we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the reply to so no this mail is not a reply mail so i'm going to leave it as blank if you wish you can definitely do it and now it is asking me for the email content type so i'm going to keep it as plain only we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the email content so i want the email content to be hi name thank you for reaching out to us through our webflow form and over here you can see that we are going to map the name right over here in front of hi so i'm going to open it and then we are going to search for name as you can see demo and user so we are going to map the first name put a space and then the last name so now it has become hi demo user thank you for reaching out here is the summary of your information so i'm going to map it again the name i'm going to search for it first name put a 
space and then last name we are going to map the email to i'm going to search for email right over here and as you can see the email we are going to map it and then we are going to map the phone number too i'm going to search for it and as you can see the same so we are going to map it and now it has become hi demo user thank you for reaching out over here is the summary of your information provided and the rest of the email content and after doing all of this we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the file name and attachment so as you can see both of this are not the required field so i'm going to leave it as blank and now it is asking me for the label id so i'm going to keep it as inbox only we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the signature so if you wish you can definitely add a signature right over here or else you can map the signature right over here but i don't want to add this so i'm going to leave it as blank and then we are going to click on save and send test request and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request you can see that we have successfully sent a new mail and this is a positive response i'm going to open our gmail and check for the mail and as you can see edutech the mail is received from this is the sender's name over here you can see thank you for your interest demo user you can see hi demo user thank you and all the details that we entered in our email content and yes you can see the details have been mapped successfully so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and i'll just test this workflow once and this time i'm going to give you a real time example so to do this i'm going to open my webflow form again we are going to refresh this page because we want to do another test submission so for the first name this time i'm going to keep it as test last name user email as test user at the rate publitudes.com and then for the mobile number i'm going to keep it as this and then we are going to click on submit and as soon as we are going to click on submit you can see thank you your submission has been received so yes this means that we Webflow has sent the details of our submission to our workflow. Public captured the response, triggered the workflow, and further sent a new confirmation email to our lead. So I'm going to open the Gmail and check for the new mail sent. And yes, this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on Save and Send Test Request. I'll directly open my Gmail and we are going to go back to check for the new mail. And yes, I'm going to refresh this. And as soon as we are going to refresh this, you can see a new mail. Thank you for your interest, test user. So yes, this is the new name over here. You. can see the new name mapped right over here too where you can see test user test user at the rate publitudes.com and the new phone number that we entered so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and i'll just summarize this workflow for you once for the trigger application we selected webflow for the trigger event we selected new form submission for the action application we selected gmail and then for the action event we selected sent email because i wanted that as soon as the new form submission is made in my webflow account automatically with the help of the same details a confirmation email should be sent to my lead and yes we were successful with our workflow over here you can see the two mails i sent during this video with the help of the workflow one to demo user and one to test user so yes if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for the reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching